what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for pokemon sword and pokemon shield in today's video we are continuing rocking with some off meta pokemon we got ourselves a lunala and tapu Bulu team that features life orb swamper and dialga you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel take two seconds out of your guys time of day two seconds out of your day just to subscribe to the channel legit only takes two seconds all you gotta do is scroll down just a little bit click that big red subscribe button and there it is guys you guys just subscribe to the channel and support me as a content creator but before we get started with today's team preview i want to give a huge shout out to the team creator my boy adam adam thank you so much for leaving this team in my twitter dms if you guys want to give me rental codes head down link in the description below jeans youtube over on twitter DM me, tweet at me, however you guys want to get it to me. I'd love to look at the teams, and I love using fan teams. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with Lunala over here. And Lunala is a really cool Pokemon. Definitely one of those restricted mods, but really strong, but not as strong as like Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and the other like top tier ones. But I still really like using this Pokemon. It definitely gets the work done. We got Shadow Shield as its ability, Rock and Power Herb as its item, so we can use that Meteor Beam in turn one. And then the other three moves that we're rocking with this Pokemon is going to be Moon Geist Beam, Trick Room, and then we got Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Dialga over here with pressure and that weakest policy. You guys know once Dialga gets that weakest policy proc, it is really, really strong because it's bulky and can do big damage at the same time. We got Earth Power, we got Roar Time, we got Trick Room, and then we got Flash Cannon for our Stab Steel move. Middle left is going to be Snorlax over here. Snorlax is going to thrive under this trick, especially if we can set up Belly Jump, because this is a Belly Jump Snorlax. We got Thick Fat alongside with that Citrus Berry. Then we got High Horsepower, Belly Jump like we already mentioned, Body Slam for Sab, and then we got Gunk Shot for our coverage move. Middle right is going to be Lovely Lake Clay Grimms. I love this Pokemon so much. One of my favorite, and in my opinion, one of the best support mods in the game. We got Prankster on him, and then we got Reflect, Light Screen, Foul Play, Spirit Break. That moveset is just beautiful. It is, it is, it's just lovely. It is just so good and works well on any single team. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Life Orb Pokemon, and we gave it to Swamper. I cannot wait to use this Swamper with a Life Orb. Probably Dynamax him get rolling out from there, especially if there's Pokemon that uh, aren't really posing a threat to him. I really like it. I really like it. Cannot wait to use it. We got Torrent alongside with the Life Orb, which I already mentioned. Then we got High Horsepower, Waterfall, with, which are both stab moves, Ice Punch for coverage, and then last but not least, we got Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tapu Bulu over here, and I absolutely love this Tapu Pokemon. I think it's one of my favorite Tapus, but it is arguably the worst Tapu out of the four, right? Yeah, there's four. But I really like using it and cannot wait to showcase for you guys. We got Grassy Surge for Surge Control. We got Assault Vest, so you know we can soak up some special attacking shots. Then we got Horn Leech for Stab, Darkest Lariat, Rock Slide, and High Horsepower for a great, lovely moveset for this Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. I'd like to get some wins with this Lunala, Weakness Policy, Dialga, Life Orb Swamper, and Tapu Blue. We're rolling into battle number one, and we're going up against a Regigigas team right here with Weezing, the Regigigas, and his two restricted mods are Zygarde, Xerneas, and he's got Incineroar and Amoongus for support. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play? I could pop Trick Room turn one. That is definitely an option. We definitely have to watch out for what's called as well. That Xerneas setup and the Regigigas. There's just a lot of different Pokemon we have to watch out for, but I think I'm setting, I think setting up Trick Room could be a good call for us. With the Alga, maybe just setting up a screen. But at that point, if we set up Trick Room and he leads a uh, Geomance Pokemon, we can kind of just get after it that way, right? He can set up Geomance, we'll set up Trick Room, we can outspeed from there and just roll out the battle. But the problem with that would be is if he's uh, setting up that Regigigas, because you know Regigigas is a huge problem. It's definitely a huge problem. So I'm going to go Dialga. I might go Grimmsnarl as a lead. I do like me some Grimmsnarl. Grimmy Grim is nice little lead here. Just because we got foul play, we got all this different stuff. I am going to end up leading the Grimmsnarl. Let's get ripping with Grimmy. Grimstrong is going to get the lead. Uh, we're going to bring Swampert in the back end. And then I think last but not least, we're going to bring Lunala. He's just too good. What's your speed, Lunala? That's my question. 117. So, yeah, I can still thrive in the trick room. Same thing with Swampert. I know Swampert's like rather on the slower side. Yeah, 80. I love it. Let's get it. Let's get Swampert down there. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Oh, I took him out. And we want Lunala. We want Lunala. Oh, my God. I almost did not pick my team. Almost did not pick my team. That could have been rough. But, yo, before battle number one even starts, you guys already know the deal. Let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What group of legendary Pokemon do you guys like the best? What I mean by group of legendary Pokemon is, like, the, the three legendary bird trio, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. You got the uh, legendary dogs with Raikou, Entei, Suicune. You got the genies with the Tornadus combo. You got the Tapus with the Tapu Leles, all that stuff. If there's a group of legendaries like the Regis as well, let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He's going to end up leading these two. Uh, do I pop a Trick Room? Um, I could pop a Trick Room and set up a... Uh, set up a Reflect here, which might be my play. 
Might be my play all day. Nice lovely reflect here. I'm with it. I'm with it. He's going to Dynamax Reggie. We know this is coming all day. We know this is coming all day. Let's just see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because he got the neutralizing gas. The slow start is popping here. Um, a foul play could do a decent amount of damage onto him. That's why I like leading the Grimstone. Because if I can get off a foul play, it should be able to trip up a nice amount of damage due to him having that high attack stat when slow start is gone and off the field. But I think he's just going to Dynamax Reggie Gagas. And I think he's going to go for a Max Quake into my Dialga. Who should be able to soak it up through the Reflect. Right? That's what I think he's doing. That is what I think he is doing. Let's get off this Reflect. Let's start rolling here. Let's get after it. And I could save my Dynamax, which I think I'm going to do. Because I, I don't think Dialga is going to really uh, bear too well to this uh, Max Quake. And I don't want to Dynamax him if he's really on low HP. But we shall see. Let's see what this guy wants to do here. Let's see what he's popping with. See what he's popping with. He's gonna end up protecting. So that's a solid turn for us. We're not going after that wheezing. We're not trying to take it out. We're just gonna set up a nice, lovely. Where's? Oh, I don't have prankster. I do not have prankster, so that takes me out, right? I just realized. Yeah, I don't have prankster. I don't like that. My speed drops now. I might just dynamax my. Uh, I might just dynamax my Dialga here. I might just dynamax him now. God dang it, I hate neutralizing gas. It always throws you off so much. It's like, there goes all my abilities. Um, I could bring out Lunala here. Lunala's not too bad. I can drop a Meteor Beam. I could also bring out Swampert, which wouldn't be bad, and just protect them. And what am I thinking of doing? What am I thinking of doing? Because I could uh, Max Quake and take out that. That what's it called? What is that Pokemon even called? The Weezing. I'm kind of leaning towards doing. Well, I can Dynamax Swampert. I thought I should be down to my Swampert. Hmm. I want to save you? Yeah, I'll save you. I'm going to bring in Swampert. I'm going to bring in Swampert with the 80 speed. And I might just die to Max. I really want to. And just get rid of this Weezing. I really just want to get rid of this Weezing. But I know it's Shukabang, right? So I might just double down into him. Just so I can make sure I get rid of him. He's got to be Shukabang. Got to be Shukabang. I'm going to go for him. He's got to be Shukabang, right? So I'm going to double down into him. Try to take off that Shukabang. That's not playing all day. And we're going to Dynamax Swamper, who is a really cool Pokemon. I'm actually excited that we're Dynamax this Pokemon. Like, obviously, I could Dynamax Diago, which would be a better Pokemon to Dynamax. But I was just like, yo, screw it. We never use Swamper. So, let's try to roll out with this Pokemon. But yeah, if I can get rid of this Weezing this turn, I can really neglect a lot of damage from that, uh, from that Reggie. And it can work well for us. So, we're going to Dynamax. Let's get it buzzing. Let's see how this one's going to play out here. Should have speed on the board. But our problem is, if we take him out, Reggie Gagas might get a bit of a speed pull here. I know its stats do drop after the, the neutralizing gas goes out. So let's get it. Swamper out and about. Bring his HP to 350. We love it. We love it. What's he going to do here? What are you doing here, Weezing? Earth Power's going to come out here. And look at that read. Look at that read with the Shuka Berry. Look at that hard read with the Shuka Berry. We're going to take off the Shuka Berry with, with Earth Power. That's fine. And then we're just going to double down with Max Quake and take him out. That's a great call by me. That is, honest God, a beautiful call by me. Beautiful call by me. We get special defense boost. That thing is physical attacking, but still, I just want to get rid of it. Look at that call. The Shukaberry call for jeans. And I think I'm, I'm thinking a little bit extra right now. I'm thinking a little bit extra. The one thing I didn't think about was the prankster being gone on my uh, Grimstarl. The special defense is boosted on a physical attacker, um, but Slow Start is going to come out here, which is lovely. Pressure on Diago's out. We have Torrent ready to go. Slow Start is back in effect. We like that. We like that. And I wonder what he's going to go for here. Max Strike. In a quake, and he's gonna go after my Diablo, who might be able to eat this up. Who might be able to? Oh, you're going after you. Ouch. We, we'll take that all day. Special defense boost for him. My Swamper is a physical attacker. So I'm just gonna kind of just leave this Regigigas alone right now. Look how much we ate, dude. I love, I love when slow starts. I can't get going. Regigigas is just nothing. He's just nothing, which is beautiful. Which is just beautiful. So he's gonna end up throwing out Incineroar. That Intimidate's gonna do me a little dirty. And he could fake me out, obviously. I could protect here. I could hard swap. But I think I just geyser at this point. What do I do? Because what other Pokemon does he have? What other Pokemon do you have? Oh, it's gotta be Zygarde, right? I just feel like throwing water is gonna be your play. Set the rain? Hmm. I feel like it's either Zygarde or Xerneas. And I might just want to save my Diago for that Xerneas. Who do I have in the back end? I have Lunala. And he could be going for a quake into you. So you know what? I am gonna swap my uh I'm gonna swap my Diago here. I'm gonna swap my Diago just in case he has Xerneas in the back, and I do think he's gonna be going for a Quake. I'm just gonna roll into do I roll into a Quake on my own or do I, I'm just gonna geyser. I'm just gonna straight up geyser. 
He's probably faking out anyway, so my ghost can actually come in here and dodge his fake out. Let's see if we get the double dodge. Let's see if he can go for the fake out and the quake into that slot. That could be big time plays. That could be big time plays. And he's just going to straight up party shot. Okay. He's going to straight up party shot. God dang it, yo. Swampert's minus two. That trick room really did me that bad. Really did me that bad. I thought Swampert could at least be slower than Cinnamon. So he's going to roll out with his next Pokemon. And it is going to be his final Pokemon, which is going to be Zygarde. So Zygarde does come out here. We're going to end up dropping the geyser into it, chipping up. And the problem here is going to be you can power construct very soon. Very, very soon. So do I stay in here for another shot with Swampert or do I swap him? I have to swap my Swampert. Save him for another time. Let's see what he goes into. He goes into a quake into my Swampert, yo. Into my swamps, dude. Into Lunal. Oh my god, I always think it's flying type. I always think it's flying type. I was gonna say, like, dude, shouldn't we dodge that? I always think it's flying type. I really always do. So this Dynamax turns are over. Um, I could get a special defense boost and just meter beam into that. This is tough. This is tough news for us. I know I have ice punch. Actually, I'm gonna go for my ice beam. I think four times super effective. Should be able to chip up a lot of damage. Should be able to chip up a lot of damage. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into a meter beam, boost my stats, deal some damage over there, and then I'm going to drop this uh. This hailstorm, even though we're minus two, it can still do a good amount of damage. But my problem here would be if he swaps into Incineroar, which we would not like. Which we would not like whatsoever. And I just gotta watch out for the ground moves or the double hitting ground moves from him. Which I do have wide guard for. Could work really, rather nice. Could work rather nice. How many max quakes this thing sent? I think it's gonna be bulky. I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my swamper take out by Gigas, but that thing's gonna get going again. Or that thing is gonna get going again. Ah dang it, Regigigas. I hate you. I hate you so much, Regigigas. Let's see what it does. Mmm. Swaps to Regigigas, man. I mean, that allows Meteor Beam to fly into Incineroar. And it takes off a special defense boost. So I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with this turn. Kind of with this turn. Not gonna lie. He's gonna end up protecting Zygarde. That's, that, that's cool with me. That's cool with me. That actually makes uh, my life a little bit better. Yeah, he swapped that Regigigas. Because we can still chip up some damage here. It's four times super effective. He might part shot into me. I might have to swap here, which could be my play. And this Meteor Beam, I think, should be able to pick up a KO here. He's not plus on any defense here. We're about to go plus one on special attack. Like it. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. So this could be a big time KO because I can swap Swampert at this point. I can definitely swap Swampert at this point. Power Herb's gonna come out here. Just gotta land a Meteor Beam. I only missed it like once before. And it's so annoying when you miss it. You go through all that trouble to set up the Power Herb and all that for nothing. But Meteor Beam flies out here and we do not pick up the KO. That's a little rough. But Buffets are gonna fly. And it's a little Buffets. So Buffets will take him out next turn. I think he's gonna try to swap here. So I could protect. I could definitely protect and just have the Buffets take him out. I don't know. What do I do here? What do I do? Because I would love to get off an ice move with, uh, with Swampert here. I would love to get off an ice punch. We are slower at the time, so I might I might just send it. I might just double down his eye guard here and have Buffets take him out. Moon Guys Beam. Oh yeah. Let's double down at this point. Ice punch. Like, I know we're minus three. If he wants a parting shot, he can parting shot. It's totally fine. But I'm gonna try to get rid of this eye guard. I don't want a power constructing set up. This is tough because I don't think we're gonna be able to take him out unless we get a crit. Is he plus what is he plus one on special defense? And then he's uh, on top of that, he's by uh Swampert's minus three. He hard swaps him. Okay. He hard swaps him. And I think he's gonna swap him in onto the other slot. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. That's actually a good swap because Snarl's gonna fly out here. God dang Snarl. Oh my god, that does so much damage. Good thing what's called dies here. Good thing Incineroar dies here. Ice punch is gonna fly here. Can we get a freeze? That'd be a big time freeze. I'm gonna do like no damage, but a freeze could be <gasps> It would be beautiful. A freeze would be beautiful that we get a freeze. Okay, cool. So we get the freeze. Moon Guy's Beam's going to fire, and it doesn't affect him. Buff is going to fly. That takes out you. Dope, yo. We get a freeze. We get a freeze. So I'm going to use this turn to actually swap somebody for Dialga. And who do I swap? I think I have to swap Swampert at this point, right? I feel like we have to swap Swampert. I try to pop a Trick Room. Yeah, I'm going to try to set Trick Room back up and swap Swampert. Right, Trick Room just ended, right? 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 Yeah, 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 cool. So let's try to pop a Trick Room. 
And let's swap Swampert, get him out of here, and bring his stats back to normal. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, big time freeze. Big time freeze from Swampert. We love it. We love it. We love it. And that Incineroar's gone. There's someone that I think power constructing. I think he can take one more Buffet before it does power construct. So that could be good. This power construct is scary. And if I get my Swampert and Trick Room, he can Ice Punch, I think. So I'm going to try to uh, get after this uh, Reggie Gigas at this point. I'm going to swap him. What's he going to do here? He's going to go for 1,000 hours. And I was going to wide guard this, but this proc my weakness policy, which is good. And Lunala survives. So as long as this thing's frozen, we're chilling here. Keep it frozen. Keep it frozen. Keep it frozen. Keep it frozen, baby. Keep it frozen. Balls out, dude. Freeze is the worst. Is like the worst status condition on planet Earth. It really is. But we get Trick Room and Diablo doesn't get affected by buffs, which is really, really good. Really, really good for us. Really, really good for us. Oh, I do. Wait, what? I'm Steel type. He's going to double protect and take out my Dialga, isn't he? I thought Steel types don't get affected by it. Hold up. Hold up. Steel types don't get affected by it. Oh, no. I'm thinking Sandstorm. I'm thinking Sandstorm. That's my fault. That's my fault. Okay. From here, uh, I could wide guard. I think I just got to get after some of these Pokemon, right? Hmm. What do I do here? I don't want to guard the shot just so Lunala can survive another turn. And I could actually take out you. But I really want to go after a Pokemon like like Reggie here. Because I know that my uh my Swamper can roll in here with ice punches. And really get some work done here. So let's see what he does, because he might protect his eye guard as well. But we have a Y guard coming out here just in case he wants to go for like a thousand arrows. And we can keep Lunala for an extra turn. Because I think Roar Time should be able to take him out, right? It's a protecting Zygarde. guard, cool. Cool. So he protects Zygarde. I could have started charging up a Meteor Beam. That could have been really good. And Wyguard comes out here. So he doesn't double protect. Double protect would have been the play because then Buffets would have taken out my Dialga. And he goes before. Okay, and he takes out my Lunala. That's fine. That's fine. Because if this War Time can take out this uh this Regigigas, this could be a huge play. Because I'll take a 1v1 with my Swampert all day. I'll take a 1v1 with my Swampert all day. But this is a crazy long battle. War Time, take him out, please. Thank you. War Time takes him out. It turns to a 1v1 situation. I got my Swampert back at full attack. It was minus three to do that instant war, just pestering around on them. Well, Ice Punch is four times super effective. So as long as this thing doesn't power construct here, we should be fine. Oh, it's going to power construct, right? Oh, no, it has leftovers. It's not going to power construct. Thank you, leftovers. It's not going to power construct. That's lovely. Swampert's coming out here. Swampert should be slower. We have Life Orb. This should just be able to dump on it. I'm thinking it should. I'm thinking it should say GG's. Ice Punch, we have the Trick Room out and about. Swampert is slower. Ice Punch, finish this battle off. Do it. Do it. Finish the battle off, baby. He might protect the waste out of turn, but Trick Room, we still have like two or three turns left in it. Yeah. Which is really good. But yo, this is a long battle. It was a long battle. Ice Punch coming in hot. Bang. GG's. Let's go, yo. My boy Swampert clutching up at the end of the battle. We start off that long, hard fought battle with a victory. And we can hop into our second battle. Try to get Tapu Bulu in the battles as well. Battle number two coming at you guys. That first battle was a nice, long, drawn out one. We ended up coming up on top, grabbing ourselves that win. But the second battle is looking tough. He's got the Charizard and Groudon combo alongside with Trick Room with Calyrex. Then he also has Storm Drink Gashon, which he might bring in. We do have Swampert. And then he has P2 and Regilecki. Um, how should I play this one? How should I play this one? I might bring Lunala just so in case he wants to lead Charizard. I can legit just uh, I can legit just go straight into a, uh, a Meteor Beam and do some big old damage to him. Could also lead like Grimstone, just set up some screens, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Bring Bulu in the back end because we didn't showcase Bulu in the last battle. And last but not least, do we go Swampert here? Or no, we gotta go Dialga. We gotta go Dialga. I do like Dialga in this situation as well, especially in a Trick Room. It's it's just a, it's just a decent Pokemon. It's just a decent Pokemon all around. But I just feel like this battle is gonna be super tough for us. He has a Groudon Charizard. It's not. It's not looking pretty. It's not looking pretty at all. That's the only problem with using off meta teams. Like when we go up against like heavy meta teams. You just, it's just, they just have an upper hand on you already. Their teams are just so much more overpowering. They can do a lot more, the more versatile as well. It's just tough. It is just tough. But I feel like if he goes to the ground on Charizard combo, we can maybe just set up like a late screen or something like that. Have Lunala soak up and be able to get off a, uh, get off a Trick Room. If I can get off the Trick Room, I feel like we could be thriving. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see how this one plays. But yeah, let's get after this. Let's get after this. Let's see who he's going to end up leading. 
He has so many different options you can actually lead. So it's so it's it's like so tough to kind of predict what he's gonna do. And if he brings the Ice Rider Kalos in the back end, that's also a problem. Because it's like it's gonna destroy my trick room. And he goes in with the Charizard combo. Okay, uh. Hmm. What do I do here? Definitely pop the trick room. Do I set up the light screen? Or do I set up the reflect? Or do I protect this turn, set up the reflect, and then next turn set up the light screen and Options, options, options. I mean, we do have wide guard, but I'd rather just trick him in. I'd rather go for a trick him and set up the late stream. I'm setting up the late stream. That's my play all day. I do have foul play for Groudon, which can do a decent amount of damage, but no, I do not new. Let's see, he's obviously Dynamaxing one of these guys. Like, he's gotta be, right? He's gotta be Dynamaxing one of these guys. He's gotta be Dynamaxing one. But I feel like Lunal should be able to soak up to do its ability. What is it? The, the Shadow Bubble or something like that? Shadow Shield? Something like that. It just, just does good. It does some good work. But this guy's thinking of what to do. And I, 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 I'm like, in my head, I'm like, dude, he should just Dynamax get after it. <laughs> like, I feel like he just has such the upper hand here. Let's see it. Let's see it. So Dynamax is going to come out here. If I'm going to add the guess, it's going to be Charizard, right? No. Power moves coming out here. Out to the Don. Big boy ground. So Reflect should have been in play. I wonder what he's doing with Charizard though. What are you doing with, with Char Char right there? What are you doing with Char Char? Because we're setting up Light Screen. Light Screen's down about. Come on, yo. We need to just trick him out. We need to just trick him out. He's going to end up going for a Heat Wave. Heat Wave coming out here. Light Screen's going to be able to help out a little bit. Have my Lunala soak up a lot. I don't care if he takes out Grimstone at this point. As long as my Lunala stays alive here. He goes for Quake, and he's going to go on Lunala. Can you eat that? Bang, bang, bang. Lunala coming up clutch. We can set up a Reflect next turn, and we get off this beautiful trip. Cool. The Special Defense boost is out. Um, That's fine. I have Tapu Bulu, who I'm thinking of Dynamax in the back end, who's a physical attacker. I really like that. And Solar Power is going to chip up, and I think I'm just going to Meteor Beam into, the, into you to get rid of you. He might be Charty Berry, but I still want to send that. And then I could Spirit Break, but I think Foul Play is just going to be replay. Or, no, you know what? We're just going to set up this Reflect for the team. Let's set up the Reflect for Swab. Charizard might even protect here. But I hope not. I hope we can just drop it with the Meteor Beam. That could be, that could be a solid turn. Because Trick Room is out and about, which we love. Which we love. But I think that's why he Dynamaxed to Groudon. I think he was like, if it, if worst case scenario, if I get off Trick Room, he's like, I can have Groudon. He's a little bit still on the slower side. But I feel like all my Pokemon are slower than that Groudon. Except for uh, maybe Lunala. Actually, no, no, no. All my Pokemon should be slower than him. I have Dialga and Bulu in the back. Dialga and Bulu in the back. But I'm hoping he takes out one of my Pokemon here. Right? He's going to end up withdrawing the Charizard. Who's he going to roll into? Who's taking this Meteor Beam? P2. P2 coming in hot to take his Meteor Beam. P2 is coming in hot to take his Meteor Beam. So, uh, Reflect's going to come out and about. I wonder who he's taking out here. That's my real question. Or, uh, or who's he going to at least try to take out? Oh, you are slower. Wow. You are slower than my Lun Lunala. And he's going to take out my Grimstone. That's totally fine. I actually rather have my Lunala at this point. The special offense is boosted. That's a little rough. This PT is going to be able to soak this up all day. Good thing we didn't go into a Moonglaze Beam. Maybe he thought we were going into a Moonglaze Beam into the Charizard. But we're just Meteor Beaming. Okay, so from here, I got to bring out the... Uh, I got to bring out the Bulu here. And I could actually guard the next shot. I could Dynamax and guard the next shot. Kind of roll from there. We have the screen set up, which is nice. Meteor Beam's going to fly. It's not going to do too much damage to P2. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, from here, we could just go... I think I got a Dynamax Bulu here, right? Bulu is sounding really good. We have the Soul Fest. We have the... We have a lot up. We have a lot to work with here. We do have a lot to work with. I'm hoping Ground's not rolling with a fire move. I should have rolled into uh, Dialga and just protect it normally and have my weakest policy proc. That should have been my play, but he's just boosted on that on that defense board. Okay, so from here, uh, I mean, I'm gonna double down Dialga or Grout on here. Dynamax to go for an overgrowth. That's my play. We're hoping he's not gonna guard here. If he guards us. That's a tough play for us because he can trick him and pull it back. He can pull the trick him back. It could be ugly for us. And I was thinking he's gonna do it. I'm thinking he's gonna guard and pop a trick room. So I was thinking of popping a trick room with my Lunala, but I don't know what he's gonna do. I mean, 
He's sitting here with uh, P2. I don't know why he would cancel out the trick room because P2 is probably slower than everybody. We'll see what he wants to do here. I mean, he's not boosted on defense. So, Bulu should be able to do a nice chunk of damage here because he's stab. It's in the surge. And he also is super effective. But I don't know, yo. This is tough. This is real tough for me. This is a real tough battle. Real tough battle here. And I think we have Trick Room for like two more turns. Two, three more turns. Bulu's going to come out here. Do his little fisting. Like, I love how his hands just like perfectly go into each other. <laughs> like, it's so funny. I love it. But he does have bull hands, which is cool too. He's going to end up going for a foul play. It's going to take me out all day. Bulu should go next, which is good. Keep up some damage on the Groudon. And as long as this Groudon's not weak, this policy. Which it could be. That could be scary. That could definitely be scary. We're going to pop this. Get after him. Build huge damage. That's some huge damage. No policy. No policy. We got a crit too. It's beautiful. He's not policy. He's just going to go for a flare. Okay. Flare, I feel like we should be able to soak up. We have reflexing stuff out. Wow. Beautiful. So we soaked that up all day. I dig it. And he's going to get some stuff and things like that. So Bulu can just roll into a uh, another overgrowth in that ground slot. And we can get some work done with my idea. Get some work done with my idea. Yaga is our final Pokemon. <laughs> it's our final Pokemon. We're looking to do some work. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? Hopefully we get two. I think it's only one. Let's see. Wait, if we can get two Trick Room turns, that could be beautiful. This Dynamax is over. I do dig that. I do dig that. What are we, what are we popping with Trick Room turns? Two. That's beautiful. Look at everything out and about. I think we have Light Screen too. Yeah. Oh my god. Sunlight, Terrain, Trick Room, Reflect, and Light Screen. Five. Five things bumping here. Okay. Uh, when I could just flash can try to get that special defense drop over onto you. And I could actually just go into darkness because I feel like darkness should be able to pick up the KO here, right? Did you say darkness pick up the KO? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm say yeah, darkness picks up the KO. And the reason I want to go into a darkness more so than anything is because we get that special defense drop. I'm gonna roll into it. I'm gonna roll into it. Come on, Bulu. I need you here. We have two turns off in Trick Room, so that's big. So I don't mind if he protects the Groudon, actually. See what he does. Just speed swap. That was a great play. <laughs> that was a great play. That was a great play, but he propped my weakness policy, which is huge. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Reflect. That's big that's big time for us. That's big time for us. Because we're gonna be able to drop a darkness here. Should be able to take you out, right? We do not. We do not take you out. He's going to be able to get off another turn. That stinks, man. That stinks. But P2 special defense is going to drop. And this might be able to take out P2. Might be able to take out P2. This is not. Wow. It's ugly. This is ugly. This is real ugly. Um, He can't take me out with blades. On. We're able to soak pretty well. I could protect the Alga here. I could protect the Alga. Which I, oh, I cannot protect the Alga, actually. Um, I'm gonna have you take out you, and then uh, what do I do from here? Special defense boost, probably our best bet. Take out you. Wow, dude, that darkness did not take him out. Come on, Bulu, you're better than that. You're better than that. Hopefully, we can dodge a blade here. Hopefully, we can dodge a blade. This is our last turn in Trick Room. That's a great speed swap. Speed swap coming in hot. Let's see what he does here. You know, P2's gonna go last here. You no know, Groudon's gonna go first now. Hopefully, we can dodge a blade. That yeah, grass train is definitely helping us dodge some stuff. He's gonna ally switch here. And I'm kinda cool with that. I mean, we take out regardless. I'm gonna go for blades. Who's dodging it? Top of Bulu dodge it. No, Diablo, can you soak? I love you. I love you. That's nice. That's solid. Because we still pick up the double kill here. We still, we still pick up this double kill because this should be able to take you out, right? Cool. We take you out and Flash Cannon's gonna slide to the side. And I don't know why he, he went went for the ally switch there. I don't think it was any benefit because Groudon went first regardless. Groudon went first regardless. So Flash Cannon's gonna fly here. It's looking tough because Trickham's gone. Trickham is gone. It actually could benefit us. Say he brings out Calyrex. And he's on the slower side. It could definitely benefit us. Something's gonna fade. He does have Char. Oh, he has Charizard. He has Charizard. He has Charizard. I forgot about that. And Trick Room's gone. No, dude. The Charizard, man. I mean, I have Rock Slide, but if he lands his Heat Wave on us, we're both dead. 
No, not the Charizard, dude. <laughs> not the Zard. Who's going to be last Pokemon? Callie? Hmm? That's tough. That's real tough. Ooh, Dynamax is over. If we were able to take out that Groudon that first turn, wow, we could have been sitting so good because then we would have been forced to bring out. Well, we probably would have just brought out Calyrex at that point. But I'm going to go for that, and I'm going to go for Shrock Slide. Heat Wave's coming in hot. Can we dodge it? Can we dodge the Heat Wave? I know there's a chance we could dodge it, hopefully. Let's see how this one plays out. Heat Wave comes in here. No dodge. That's double kill all day, right? No, it's not. Yo, Lich Queen coming in hot. Flash Cannon's gonna fly, and this thing's obviously big. That sucks. But Beery Berry comes in hot. We Flash Cannon. It's still some great damage. Hey, can we get some flinches with this Rock Slide? Rock Slide comes in hot here. This thing's Charty Berry. Come on, man. Dude, the Lich Queen helping us out. Wow. Get a flinch. Get a flinch. Get a flinch onto the Calyrex. Flinch that Calyrex. Flinch that Calyrex. We do not. Oh, come on. Yo, Reflect. Help us out here. Reflect. Help, help us out here. Help us out here, Reflect. That's GG's. No way, dude. No way. We were able to soak up that heat wave like it was nothing. I'm surprised by that. We soaked up that heat wave it was like it was nothing. Because we were special defense boosted as well. But Glacial Lance comes in the second slot, takes us out. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against a heavy meta squad right here. That last battle came down to the wire. That light screen, I was surprised, helped us eat up that heat wave. And luckily that guy had berries. If he didn't have a Babiri Berry or Charty Berry. Those Pokemon would have been gone, KO'd instantly. But he had the perfect berries for the perfect times. But let's see who this guy uh, is going to lead. I think he's going to lead like the Tornadus alongside with like Kai Ogre. Just trying to roll out from there. So I could go in with a Pokemon like Dialga to soak up a shot and pop a trick him. So I'm kind of leaning towards and then have Bulu in the back end. I do like Bulu. We could bring in Snorlax too. Let me see what you're popping with Snorlax. We could go, go for the Belly Drum, which wouldn't be a bad call. We could go for Belly Drum into like a... Uh, hmm. Belly Drum into a Trick Room. Could be an option. But what's it called it's such a threat. That uh that Amoongus right there. I feel like Amoongus is such a threat. But I'm gonna end up going in with Lunala here. I just like Lunala up against a few of these Pokemon. Alongside with uh do I go Grimstarl to try to pop the trick room, set up a screen? That could be our option. I'm kinda leaning towards it. Grimstarl, let's go Bulu. And let's go Dialga. Let's go Dialga here. Sorry, Snorlax, you're not coming in today's video. You are not coming in today's video. I feel like it's hard to set up that Snorlax without like a follow me Pokemon or like a perfect like counter. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you need something to set up that Snorlax. Because that Snorlax goes below half HP and you go for a Belly Drum, it's not going to work. And you just wasted out your turn. You pretty much just lost the battle. So we'll see how this one's going to play. We'll see how this one's going to play. He's going to end up going in with Zacian and Incineroar. So Incineroar can fake out my uh, my Grimstone, obviously. But she's probably going to do that, right? I'll try to set up a Reflect. And I'm just going to go straight for a Trick Room. I'm gonna go straight for a Trick Room. I mean, if he wants to take out my Grip Snarl and I get off Trick Room, I think it's a beautiful turn. Because then I can Meteor Beam next turn and kind of just roll from there. I do not mind it. I do not mind it. And I could bring out Swampert and Dynamax. Go with Dynamax and Swampert. We have options here. We have options, people. So I kind of like this lead. The Trick Room, we're gonna pop it. And if I can get off this Reflect, we're gonna go for it. But I, I honestly just think the Trick Room, or not Trick Rooms. I just think he fakes out my Grip Snarl and then Behemoth Blades takes him out. I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. I'm liking this turn. I'm liking this turn a lot. I am like to turn a lot. What's he gonna do? Maybe he thinks I have fake out too, so he could protect one of his Pokemon, like his ass here. We have options here, people. But we just gotta get off this trick room. We gotta get off this trick room. Let's see what he's gonna do. Actually, he just Dynamax is assing, like, somehow. <laughs> somehow, I, I didn't read the new rules for next season, and it's just like Zassing could Dynamax now. I'm like, what? <laughs> Let's see how this one plays out here. But, dude, I'm so excited for new Pokemon games. Like, I cannot wait to use, like, a bunch of new Pokemon in, in ranked battles. It's just going to be so much fun. He's going to end up faking me out. Yep, and he's going to Behemoth Blade. We can say bye-bye to Grimstarl, right? Grimstarl, salute to you, buddy. It was nice seeing you. Nice knowing you. You're not surviving this shot. You're not surviving. Oh, no, he goes after Lunal. You should be able to survive the shot. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We love it. So, Trick Room's out and about here. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to set up Reflect. I'm just going to pop a Meteor Beam. I'm going to get rid of that instant war. I just don't feel like dealing with it, right? We we gotta say bye bye to him. So I'm gonna do that, and Reflect's gonna come out and about. Yo, Lunala's a soak, dude. This thing's a sponge. Soaking up Behemoth Blades like it's nothing. But yeah, hopefully this Ashton just goes after my Grimstar ult and maybe takes him out. He might not be able to through the Reflect, but I would love to get in like my Swampert and Dynamax him while, while Trick Room turns are still out and about. But I have to get off this Reflect. It's an absolute must for us. Parting Shot's gonna come out here. Dang it, dude. You're gonna party Shot me? How dare you? How dare you go into something that's not eating up this rock? That's not eating up this rock. 
Maybe Kyogre might come out here. If he does, then we just set up a light screen and we kind of get going from there. Hmm. I do have foul play for that, uh, for that's asking too. So I could chip it up. He goes to do a Moongus here. I hate a Moongus, man. I hate a Moongus, especially in Trick Room. The worst Pokemon ever. The worst. The worst. And I feel like I just swap into Bulu at this point, right? I feel like I just hard swap into Bulu. He my Lunala. Keep my Lunala for a little bit here. Meteor Beam's gonna fly. It's gonna do like absolutely nothing. And yeah, I think we just have to swap into a Bulu. And Blade's gonna come out here. And he's going after a Blade. That's the real question. Can you take that out? I kind of want him gone. Take him out, please. Thank you. Okay, so Grimstone drops out. I'm going to bring out Swapper. I'm going to Dynamax him. And then I am... That's tough now. That's real tough. Actually, good Dialga. I don't have Swapper. Why do I think I have Swapper? Uh, huh. What do I do here? I don't know. I do not know. I have no terrain. I have no terrain to, like, block this stuff. I'll bring out Bulu. I'll bring out Dialga. I think he's gonna put my Dialga to sleep, which is so ugly. It's just it's just a terrifying thing. It's just a terrifying thing. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta get after you. How many turns left in Trick Room? Three. Gotta get rid of that. I gotta get rid of this little booger right here. This little booger right here's got to go. Not dealing with it. Spore. Saw it's coming all day. I was going to hard swap into my Bulu, but it's not our play. So I didn't Dynamax him. It's tough, man. I think he's incredible in Trick Room. He's incredible. Moon Guy's Beam's going to fly here. I think one more Moon Guy's Beam should be able to take him out. But he's just going to Spore me next turn. And we know that's coming all day. Can we just get, like, crit and finish this thing off? We do not get the crit. And Behemoth Blade's flying. Should be able to eat this up. Okay. Okay, I see you. So we should be able to soak this up. Bang. We do soak. We live on 8. We live on 8 HP. Not too shabby, but dude, this Pokemon's mad annoying. He could spore me, but I think he's just going to take me out, right? I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon. I got to get rid of this Moogus before I even like, go for a Dynamax. Before I even go for a Dynamax. But if I can get rid of this thing, I can Dynamax next turn. So Giga Drain's come out here. It's a lot coming all day. Just take out my Lunala. And then what is he rolling in here into me with? I don't know. Yeah, I'll counters up a lot. But dude, I need to wake up here. I need to wake up here. Yes, Dialga. Yes. Big time wake up. Big time wake up. This flash can should be able to pick up the KO, right? Let's go. So big time KO. I can bring out Bulu. And I can Dynamax? I might Dynamax Bulu here. Let's see. Close combat. Ooh. Eat. Gorgeous. I'm so tricky. Um. Okay. That defense is down. That defense is down. And Weeks policies proc for one more turn turn. E. Okay, so Bulu's obviously gonna be a, a Dynamax Pokemon. Dude, that Amoongus did be so dirty. And the Moogus did me so dirty. It kind of ruined everything that I was trying to, that I was trying to plan. So, Bulu, we're going to Dynamax. If we can get off an Earth Power onto that thing, which I think he's going to protect. I'm still going to go for an Earth Power in that slot. We can take him out because Weakness Policy is proc. We shall see. We shall see who he goes into. Because Bulu's going to get the Dynamax. We're, we're going to try to clutch up this battle. But we are 1-1. One one. So, we already guaranteed ourselves a win. But I would love to get myself a winning record. But I don't know. I don't know if we can. He's going to end up going into Incineroar, which is ugly because, you know... What's it called? Is physical attacking. Top of Bulu. That kind of sucks. And he can take me out. For his last time. And. What do I do? What do I do here? Do I drop a rock? I think he's just going to fake out. Not allow. Who do I go after? That's the real question. Who do I go after? Do I drop a rock fall? I mean, they do basically the same amount of damage here. Actually, no, there is a Quake. So I'm going to go for a Rock Fall here. Right into you. We Rock Fall and into you. And then the Alga. I mean, if we can't get this off, I mean, Earth Power is going to neglect a lot of damage. I think Flash Cannon is our best play. Because Earth Power gets damage neglect from that uh, Grass Train, I believe. Gonna end up, oh, yo, he's ending up Dynamaxing. Ooh, that's kind of scary. I ain't going to lie. It's kind of scary. That is kind of scary. This is not looking good for us. This is not looking good for us. He Dynamaxes the Incineroar. Who's going to flare straight into my Bulu here? Who's going to straight flare into my Bulu? Who's minus one already? That's not looking good. This is looking like a loss, guys. This is looking like a loss. But still, yo, awesome team today. I love this team so much. This team was definitely a lot of fun to use. We got the Swampert and the Bulu out here. 
two very cool Pokemon, but they're obviously underwhelming up against all these meta Pokemon. It's just super, super tough to play with them. But still, yo, Adam, my boy. Seems dope. Seems dope all around. Bulu's gonna get the Dynamax. We're gonna go to 352 HP. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And what's gonna happen here? He's gonna protect. Kinda saw that from a mile away. Kinda saw that from a mile away. Let's trick him. Has one more turn left. He's gonna flare. You should be able to eat that up, Bulu. Oh no, you go after Dialga. Dialga, you're dead. Dialga eats. No way. No way. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Sunlight's gonna come out here and we're just gonna change it right back to something different. We change it right back. We say, Ayo, hey, no sunlight. And Bulu's gonna do half damage. That's some big half damage. Bulu, my dude Bulu, with a crit. What a crit. He's ripping up some crits. So Sandstorm's coming out here. And Dialga doesn't take buff damage, which is huge. Flash Hand's gonna come in here. It's gonna get blocked. Okay, uh. Let's play here. Let's play here. Rock's not gonna take that out unless we get another crit. Rock is not gonna take that out unless we get another crit. Yeah, he's gonna get a little bit of HP back, and I'm glad he ate that up. I'm gonna go for another trick room, obviously, right? That thing's safety goggles too. He did not get buffed. Um. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? I guess we'll rock fall into you. And I'll go for trick room. We gotta go for trick room. We have got to go for trick room. We have got to go for trick room here. He's gonna guard. Oh, you butter biscuit, yo. Go for uh oh dude no he's gonna go for my Dialga. I was gonna say go for my go for my Bulu. That was a great protect. He goes for my Dialga. Dang dude, if you went after my Bulu there and we were able to set up a uh a light screen, or not light screen, a uh, a trick room. Wow, that could have been plays. That could have been plays. Great max guard by him, Rockfall's gonna get blocked. Um I don't know what I do from here. I do not know what I do from here. We're gonna take buff of damage, but Grass Strain's gonna give us HP back. We didn't get swept, we already took out his uh Amoongus. That Amoongus really screwed us over. And the Moogus is just nice with it. And then from here, I guess we'll go for Quake. See how much damage we can do on this thing. He has minus one on special defense, which is good. Due to that close combat. So we're going to go with that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Now he's protecting this guy. Yo, I'm getting, just getting out protected all day long today. All day long in this third and final battle. That hurts soul, man. That hurts soul. Flare's going to fly out here. And how much damage is a Flare going to do? That's a real question. That's the real question. Special defense is going to get boosted up against two physical attackers. Players can come out here. We have Reflect up. Still going to be able to chip up some nice damage. That one hurts soul. And now Bulu is it's done. Bulu is done. His Dynamax is gone. He's not going to be able to serve anything. Uh, I do not know what I do here. I do not know what I do here. Run the battle. Keep my Bulu alive. Might be my best bet because he still has another Pokemon in the back end, but we just got absolutely out protected in the third and final battle. I am going to end up running this battle. We're going to go one and two for today's video. One last huge shout out to my boy Adam for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I absolutely love it. We went one and two for today's video. Got ourselves a losing record, but played up against some top tier meta teams and actually fared pretty well with them. Like that second battle was this close for us winning that battle and turning this losing record into a win winning record. But Swampert's really cool with the life orb. I love Tapu Bulu, but again, they're both Pokemon who are just very underwhelming, but still very fun to use. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.